just want to say we've had a reacting with uncommon speed to blunt a growing public relations scandal. The Navy today removed Captain Owen Honors as commander of the USS Enterprise. His profound lack of good judgment and professionalism calls into question his character and undermines his credibility to continue to serve effectively in command. Honors, a Naval Academy graduate and a decorated Top Gun pilot, was fired just three days after a Virginia newspaper posted these racy videotapes on its website. There's a really good chance you're going to be offended tonight. Captain Honors, second in command at the time, produced the tapes in 2006 and 2007 when the Enterprise was in the Persian Gulf engaged in the Afghan and Iraq wars. The videos included crew instructions and general messages. We're through the Straits Hormuz. We are getting ready for combat operations. But the tapes were also filled with sexual slurs and hijinks, apparently intended to provide comic relief to the sailors and Marines on board. Two females in the shower. <laughs> Top Navy officials today weren't laughing. We must be held to higher standards of performance and conduct. Honors is being replaced by Captain D. Mewborn, who also graduated from the Naval Academy and flew attack fighters. Mewborn takes command of the nuclear-powered carrier, its crew of 4,400, and an arsenal of more than 50 planes, missiles, and heavy guns. The Enterprise sails for the Middle East in two weeks. While Honors has not responded publicly, the type of person he is, he needs to be defended. This his lifelong this, friend uh, and retired naval officer Pete Clark says Honors is being scapegoated. Up until now, he's had a spotless record, completely professional. He's operated in every type of environment. His, his crew loves him. But Captain Honors may not be the only casualty in the scandal. Navy investigators are taking a hard look at the actions of other senior officers who were also on board the Enterprise when the tapes were made. Those in charge of him and, and supervising his activities, what did they know and what actions did they take? Now, Captain Honors has been reassigned to, quote, administrative duties, but today's removal from command effectively ends his Navy career, and now many expect him to retire. Katie? Bob Orr in Washington. Bob, thanks very much.